We're going to be talking about goal setting as 2023 is staring us down in this video. Again, if you get value from this video or previous videos, leave us a like and leave us a review. All right, let's talk about goal setting. You know, I've talked about Tony Robbins a lot in a lot of my trainings and videos. If you've ever attended one of my live in-person trainings or designations, Tony Robbins says success leaves clues. But Tony also talks about the success cycle. The success cycle, re really, you'll see an image come across the screen right now. And it talks about, and he talks about the four components of the success cycle. And that's potential, action, results, and beliefs. You know, all of us have the same amount of potential, but those agents that take action, best practices, will naturally see more results. And if you see more results, you'll say, you know what, I can do this, or I'm gonna have an amazing year despite what the media says. And then you'll pull out more potential that you have, and you'll take more actions, you'll have more results, and you'll have more, more success and more belief that you can do it and have your best year ever despite what the media says. So as we sit down and write our goals for 2023, or perhaps you've already done that, think about, I want you to think about 10X, what you can do to 10X have your best year ever. 10X your best year ever. In other words, 10 times what you even think is imaginable. And what would you have to do to build a team, build an organization, to leverage your strengths, okay? And that's what we really want you to focus on as you are thinking about your goal setting as you're tweaking your 2023 goals. I hope this is helpful to you. Figure out what your hourly rate is. You might have to delegate some things to staff members or team members. Figure out what your hourly rate is. And that's part of your goal setting is figure out what you wanna make and then reverse engineer. So there's 52 weeks in a year. Let's say you wanna take four weeks off or two weeks off. Let's keep it simple, two weeks off. That's 50 weeks. If you wanna make 500,000, take 500,000 divided by 50. And that is what your, your average is, your weekly average is to, to take the hours, right? There's 50 weeks, 40 hours in a week. Divide that, okay? And, and that's how you figure it out, okay? I have some images coming across the screen that give you an idea of that. But you need to really figure out what your financial goal is and then backtrack out. And that's when you put your pen to the paper and you make your goals, financial goals, maybe spiritual goals, maybe health goals, maybe team goals. But overall, you need to have goals in different compartments and you have to segment those. My name is Michael Lafito. I hope this is helpful to you. Keep raising the bar and prove Others wrong. Take care.